What's up everybody, Dave's here, back with another Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 video. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to beat Parallel Quest number 10 and getting the moves Wall of Defense and Unrelenting Barrage. Now, Unrelenting Barrage is going to be the second ultimate we're going to get. Uh, so far I've only got the full power energy blast volley that I got with the character when I chose the balanced preset. So now we're going to be getting our second move. Uh, and if you stick around to the end, I'm going to be showing you how to use the move and my thoughts on the move. Now, this should be a relatively easy mission. If you need to, take some people along with you. I've got some Vegetas here because I was trying to make sure I leveled up an Instructor so I could do the Potential Unleashed to get that unlocked. We're going to take out the Cybermen first. Uh, usually, you just want to get rid of them because a few hits will do it. And then we're going to go ahead and go after Bardock. Uh, you, you really want to get them away. It, it's lower level missions. Bardock's pretty much dead by the time I get to him. But the Cybermen can be annoying if you're trying to go after the main guy. So I always suggest that you get rid of the, the lower powered guys first. Now as you can see we have Krillin off in the distance. Either he's going to give you some health or he's going to come along with you on the mission. I don't need him. Also down there in the pit we have time patrollers. Now, I'm not worried about getting Dragon Balls. I believe I actually have a full set already. I can't remember. I'm not worried about it, so I'm just going to leave them alone, and we're going to continue on with the mission. So now in the mountain area, we've got Nappa to fight, and as you can see, Vegeta's already over there working on him. Uh, not a big health bar. Pretty much one sledgehammer took him out. And now we have yet another portal that we're going to have to go through. And when we get through this portal, we've got Vegeta to fight. Now again, this should be very easy. We've got almost, we've got over double the health that he has. Our punches are doing a lot of damage to him. So really, you shouldn't have a problem with this. And if you've noticed, we haven't had a skill drop yet. So that's something to pay attention to. Now we're back onto the mountains to fight Piccolo and Gohan. Now I know Unrelenting Barrage is Gohan's move. I believe Piccolo has the wall of defense. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe he has that. So we're going to go for Kid Gohan right off the bat. We want to make sure we get that ultimate unlocked. I wasn't really too worried about Wall of Defense. I don't use those kind of moves. We've killed off Gohan, and we didn't get anything saying we got a skill drop. So just because you don't see that doesn't mean you didn't get anything. We, we got Piccolo, still no skill drop according to the game. But as you're going to see here in just a second, we're going to have both the moves. So, most likely they come from beating both of them. Piccolo's going to drop Wall of Defense. Gohan's going to drop Unrelenting Barrage. Or it's just from doing the ultimate finish, you're going to get it. So now that you got the moves, we're going to show you how to use them. Now, I'm not going to go into Wall of Defense. Uh, you can just read what it does. But Unrelenting Barrage, we're going to go in and we're going to show you how this move works right now. Now, this is what it's going to look like normally. Uh, we're not breaking them or anything like that. We're just going to use the move so you can see what it looks like. And it's different than Xenoverse 1. I don't know how to explain it. It's a little bit different. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but this character isn't maxed out or anything. But now we're going to try it another way. We are going to break him and then try and use it. And as you can see, he had plenty of time to move. This is a very, very slow move. It takes a while to start. So you want to make sure that if you're breaking him, you're going to hit him down to the floor. Or you're going to hit him with that heavy stamina break, the triangle stamina break where it knocks them straight down and then go down and use this move because there is, from what I can see, there is no other way to use this. Now I do have this on my presets right now, but I am not using it. Now if you do like this move, you know, I would just suggest you break them first and knock them to the floor, whether you're using that triangle stamina break or something like I just did right there. You gotta knock them down to the floor because if they're standing, they can move and you're just, you're not gonna get them with it. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but this character isn't maxed out, so maybe the damage isn't too bad on it. But uh, yeah, if this is your kind of move, go ahead and use it. You know how to get it now. And if you're like me, I'm going to pass on it until I get something better. Well, that's going to wrap this video up. If you like the content I'm putting out, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.